Jeff Gusky leads his team to a section of the quarry that has always intrigued, yet baffled him. There's a mystery in this place. I've never been able to figure it out. Why here do you have Indian carvings? And I, I think I can find some of them above. Let's see. Wait, here, look at this. Oh. It's a canoe. Yeah, that's your typical birch bark canoe. Do you have any idea why you'd have Talk Indians about... here? What this could be a symbol of is there were the nine Passamaquoddy in Company I, and they all came from Pleasant Point, Maine, which is where the nation exists now. Either so there are Indians or... here? There are, yeah. There were American there were, Indians? There were Indians, yeah, in Company I. Initially skeptical about the story himself, Jonathan Bratton digs deep into the Maine military records. When I got down to examining the actual roster, lo and behold, it's true. There were nine of these guys including the chief's son, Moses Neptune. And these guys served in Company I throughout the war. Military historian Jonathan Bratton has come to find out if Jeff's photos contain details only a Passamaquoddy tribal member can identify. And is this type of headdress? At the time period, this would be the type of headdress. Our traditional headdress is shaped a little bit different, mm -hmm. but in the late 1800s, a lot of the men joined the Wild West show, mm. and they came back with the Sioux head bonnets. Wow. And you can see the profile. To me, it looks like one of the soldiers, and then he's got the headdress sort of radiating yeah. out of him. If I saw this earlier, I could have showed you some paintings of the exact same thing. We have lines radiating out of them to show the spiritual connection. But it's this image of a simple object which turns out to conceal hidden meaning. Can you see the outline? Do you think it's a canoe? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> I, I was focusing right, on yeah, those symbols. Yeah. The crucial clue is invisible to anyone who's not Passamaquoddy. I don't know if you see that, mm -hmm. but you can see it's almost like a German swatch sticker. For us, it's been a cultural symbol for thousands and thousands of years, mm -hmm. and it means peace and friendship. The images of culture are more important than an individual's initials or names. Yeah. Yeah, these are powerful, powerful symbols that mm -hmm. they were there 